Sorry for the inconvenience, but not a moment left to delay. We need to get these dogs out of boxes. We need to get these dogs out of cages. We need to stand up as a community and spend money for the animals that we choose to hold. If you choose to hold an animal, spend some money on that animal. Spend some money on the animal and make sure that the animal, see this animal wants to go outside. Make sure that they're comfortable. But I'm not gonna let my animal outside because she acts like she gets lost when she goes out there. But make sure that they're comfortable. Let's get these dogs out of boxes. Let's put them on runners. Put your dog on a runner. Put your dog on a 12 feet chain. Put your dog on a 15 foot chain. Put your dog on something that you would like to be in. You ain't outside committing crimes because you don't want to go to Folsom. You don't want to be in San Quentin. You ain't trying to be in, sitting in Tracy. So what you do is the right thing so you don't have to be locked in a box. Don't lock your dog in a box either. Dogs don't deserve to be crated unless they're being transported. If you are transporting your dog, okay, put them in the crate. Put them in the crate. You know, you might have to by law in some situations. You might have to by law. Put them in the crate. You know, make sure that your dog is comfortable. Most of you guys don't never rub your dog and don't even never know if your dog is hurting physically because you don't touch it until it's time to grab him by the penis and get some sperm. Are you getting ready to inject her? Now you love her so much. Man, let me tell you something. Dogs cost more money than you're gonna make off this dog. <sighs> so you have to push him down, that big old bull. Dogs are gonna cost more money than you, than you plan on making off this dog. This dog is 88 pounds, it comes from food. And most of the time it's not dry food. Most of the time, it's not dry food. <sighs> Most of the time, it's not dry food. Most of the time, sometimes it's, it's like chicken and she, she making me lose my train of thought. She wanna wrestle and fight right now. Bottom line is guys, let's keep our dogs out of crates. Let's keep our dogs out of them crates unless you keep them in crates with the doors open. Treat your dog like you would wanna be treated. Don't put your dog in the crate because some dogs can catch distemper from being in the crate. Dogs go in that crate and they be scared and, then, and distemper comes upon them. And most dogs who live in crates are dogs that are just scary dogs. That are dogs that are just timid dogs. You're not making that dog any more mean by putting that dog in a crate. I'm making this dog mean right now. Can't you see? I keep pushing it away and all it keeps doing is just coming back. Man, dogs are dogs, but they are not prisoners. Dogs were found in the wild. They weren't found in a cage. No matter what you say, you can't make me believe that a dog needs to be trapped in a cage. You can't make me believe it needs to be trapped in an igloo. They like to do too many things. When they like to bite things, this is what they want to bite probably on you but not bite you my dog doesn't bite me seriously but it does bite on me you know she just likes to play that's all she likes to do and that's all she likes to do she's a very protectful dog too and you get this from dogs that don't be in cages this is what you get you get a companion they said man's best friend even though she's a girl she's still my best friend this is what they mean when they say man's best friend. You have to push him back. 88 pounds, pushing 88 pounds with one, one arm. You know, that that right there is something in itself, you know. Her bones is nice and big. Come on, get away from under there. Get away from under there. Her bones is nice and big. Get away from under there, girl. Get away from under there. Just keep them dogs out of cages, guys. Let's do better. We're going to keep on. Around this place, we're going to keep on facing the bullet.